We're at Dave and Sarah's farm. We have a no-kill farm where we have encouraged our animals to express themselves freely. And these animals have uh, learned to become very vocal in expressing themselves. And I have some questions. This, this is Goldie. And she has expressed an interest to be interviewed. And I have some, I have some, I have some questions for her. And the first question is, Goldie, how do you feel about the roosters in your flock forcing themselves upon you and forcing you into parenthood? Okay. What's your opinion of people who refuse to consider a hen's perspective on reproductive choice? Can you tell us succinctly how it makes you feel when you know the roosters are out enjoying the sunshine, the fresh air, pecking and scratching, while you're cooped up in this nest, not in this nest, waiting for your chick children? Pepper is also very upset about that one. She's very upset. Pepper doesn't like that idea either. You've seen the commercials put out by corporations like Baby Gap, Toys R Us, Bed Bath & Beyond. Now that the reality of your situation is clear to you, what do you think of those companies exploiting women such as yourself for profit by attempting to maintain the status quo? Can you tell us briefly how you feel when you get up seven times in the night to pee while the roosters stay on the perch snoring the night away? Any more to say about that? Okay. Any parting words of advice for young hens who haven't yet experienced what you're going through and think that raising chicks is all laughs, giggles, cooing babies, and birthday parties? Okay, thank you very much. You've been a very good interview, Cedric. Thank you. Now, now leave me alone. <laughs>